one week later. Again? Oh, come on, man. Another week later. Does that sound familiar? Do you have that coworker that would rather message you instead of looking at the dashboard? You know, the one that you created and update every single week so that everybody has the latest and greatest stats? Yeah, that can get pretty annoying, can't it? What if you could auto send the metrics to your coworker? And since you're on Slack, what if you can make a simple Slack bot that pulls the data out of your dashboard and sends the message out every week? Yeah, that sounds pretty neat, doesn't it? Hey everyone, thank you for joining me. I'm a guy called Joe, and today we're gonna to be building a Slack bot that pulls data from your Google Sheet and then sends a direct message over to your coworkers so that you don't have to worry about doing that yourself. Now to do this, there are three API endpoints that we need to hit on the Slack API. The first one is going to be the users.lookup by email. What this is gonna let you do is to get the user ID from their coworker that you wanna send that message to. The second one is the conversations.open uh, API endpoint, which is going to allow you to create a group message between you, your coworker, and the bot to send that message out. And then lastly, the third API endpoint that we're going to be using is the chat that post message, which is ultimately the one we'll be using in order to send the message out to your coworker on a weekly basis. So before we can hit those API endpoints, the first thing we need to do is create a Slack bot. To do that, go to api.slack.com and then go over to your apps and then click on the create new app icon. That's gonna open up a little modal where you can select to start from scratch or to create an app manifest. What we're gonna do here is we're gonna start from scratch. Give your bot a name and then add it to the workspace that you are assigned to. Once you have created the Slack bot, there's gonna be a few options that you can select. We're gonna be selecting permissions because we're gonna give ourselves uh, the permissions that we need in order to send direct messages and also obtain the user emails. And once you're finished adding, it should look something like this. The last thing you'll need to do is to install it into your workspace. And once you're finished installing it into your workspace, you'll get a bot user OAuth token. And that's what we're going to use to hit the APIs with the correct scope so that you can do all the messaging that you need to. So copy that and then let's head over to our spreadsheet. So in our spreadsheet, we're going to open up the script editor. You can find that by clicking on the extensions icon and then clicking on app script. Once you open that up, you're going to be sent over to our script editor where we're going to be writing all of our code. So the first function we're going to write is called request Slack. And this is going to be the function we write in order to hit the Slack API and get back everything. So within it, we're going to have the different parameters called method endpoint params. We're going to name a base URL, uh, which is slack.com slash API. And we're going to create some headers here. Within the headers, we're going to have authorization, which is where we're going to pass through the bot token that we got earlier. That's going to be a bearer token. So just go ahead and make sure we have all that. Content type will be our application slash JSON. And then from there, we'll add in our options, which will just include the headers as well as the method. Now, the method is going to be passed through the function call uh, as a parameter. So we're going to just name this method. From there, we're going to create the request URL. And the request URL is going to be a little bit different depending on the type of method we use. If it's post, then we're going to use base URL plus endpoint. And if it is not a post, if it's a get request or anything else, we're going to say the request URL is equal to base URL plus endpoint plus params. And the reason we do this is because in the post one, we actually need to, to put through a payload. So that's where we're going to say options.payload equals the params, and that's going to be a stringified version of it. Once we're done there, we're going to just use URL fetch app.fetch and then get the data from the API. And once we have that, we need to parse it since it is JSON. Once we have all that all put together, we're going to return the response code, which in the Slack API response is a dot OK. And then the data itself is just the JSON. So we're going to create another function. This is going to be the main job that we write. And within here, we're going to make several requests over to the Slack API. First one is we're going to get the user ID. So we're going to say user request equals request Slack. And the method is going to be get. The endpoint is users.lookup by email. And then the parameter that we're going to pass through is just a URL parameter. And that's going to be email equals Adrian at bootstrapping.tools. Since that's the coworker that's constantly asking us for the updates. 
Now, once we run all of that, we just need to get the ID from it. So the ID is going to be within the response data, within user, and then ID. So the second endpoint we're going to hit is the conversations.open endpoint. And since it is a post request, we need to create a payload. So let's start off a conversations open payload. And within it, we're going to set an object called users. And we're going to set that equal to our own uh, user ID. Now you can find that by just doing the same call as before and just using your email address. Now I already have mine, so I'm just going to input this directly. Now, the reason that we're doing it like this instead of creating the group message is because we're going to test this out first and you don't want your cohort to receive all your test messages. So we're going to start with this. And once we have the payload done, we're going to do request Slack and then add in all of our parameters here. So the method is going to be post and the endpoint is going to be conversations.open and then we'll pass through our payload uh, as the last parameter in there. And we're going to get the conversation ID, which is going to be within the response, the dot channel dot ID. The last endpoint we're going to hit is the chat.post message. Uh, so similar to what we did with conversations open, we're going to create a payload for this. And since we are testing, uh, we're just going to add in the object text and then set that equal to test. And then we're going to create another object for channel and set that equal to the conversation ID. And just like we did before, we're going to do request Slack where the method is post. The endpoint is chat.post message, and then we're going to pass through our post message payload. And once we run that test, we should be able to see a test message get sent over to us uh, where the person who sent it is the metrics bot. Now that we've tested it and we know that it works, it's time to get the metrics from our spreadsheet. So we're going to create a new function called get latest metrics, and we're just going to grab all the data from within the spreadsheet. So this is quite a bit of code. We're just going to fast forward through this, but if you are looking for this code, I'm going to include a link in the description below. So go ahead and click on that if you want to go through all of your stuff. But essentially, we're just going to grab all the data from the spreadsheet, and then we're going to create an object for metrics and pass through all the things that we care about. And then that metrics variable is what we're going to use in order to update our text object within our post message payload. And once we have that done, it'll essentially look like this. And now the last thing to do is to go back over to our conversations open payload and then instead of just passing through our own ID, we're going to pass through the bot ID as well as the user ID. And we're going to wrap this in square brackets so that it becomes an array. And once you have that, let's go ahead and run the code and that's going to open up a group conversation between you, your coworker and the bot. And then the bot is going to send an update to that group message uh, using all the metrics. And since we do want to have this run weekly, we're going to go over to our triggers and then we're going to create a new trigger, which is just going to run once a week. And so we're going to pick the function that we need. We're going to select the event source as time driven, the week timer, and just go ahead and pick the day of the week that you want to send this out. And then as well as the time of the day that you want the message to get sent out. And once you have that set up, congratulations, you're done. You have a Slack bot that now will send messages on an automated schedule once a week using data from your Google Sheet so that your coworker no longer has to annoy you asking you for updates every week. If you're looking to send a message to the channel as opposed to a direct message, make sure to check out this video where we go over exactly how to do just that. But I'm a guy called Joe. This is Bootstrapping Tools. It's been a pleasure and we're out.